hello welcome to the channel in this video i'll show you how to test if your cold process soap has cured um the worst thing is to sell soap or use a cold process soap that hasn't cured you can affect your skin because the process of curing is called saponification whereby the uh, light so light solution solution we use during that time it should have dried out um, the water should have dried out remaining soap but the a lot of um, mistake that we um, a lot of uh, soap makers make is that they use soap or they sell soap that hasn't cured so how do you know if your soap has really cured remember we should, some soap cure in less than one week some cured in four to six weeks some even you know the longer you leave your soap the better it is right so here is how to know if your soap has cured i have a solution here called phenolphthalein okay phenolphthalein is a synthetic solution that you can use to check if your soap has cured when i drop this on the soap okay if i drop it on the soap i will use um, a pipette a disposable pipette or wherever you have i'm going to drop it on if i drop it on here and it remains clear it shows that the soap has cured money meaning the ph is in the neutral phase and is ready to use no problem to the skin what you have now is soap so let's check i'm going to drop it on it now okay just put a drop on it as you can see i'm t i put a drop on the soap if it's clear that mean it has cured no problem that is the soap it's the ph is neutral but if it's not clear that means the soap is not ready to use so as you can see i drop one here i'm going to bring it a bit closer to the camera as you can see is it remains as clear as possible there's nothing dark or on it but hey i saw something just right now. i saw a little bit of pink but I'm going to test that again. I'll remove that pinkish thing, right? See, it came out pink. So that means this soap hasn't cured and it's not ready to use. As you can see, see the pink thing I see? But we have to leave this soap for, we have to give it more time to cure before using it. Keep that in mind. Now, there is another soap that I have here. So let me put a drop on it. As you can see also that is pink meaning the soap hasn't cured okay if i use like a paper to, um this to, to to rub it if it comes out with any pinkish thing as you can see the pink thing so this soap hasn't cured now let me let me do the same experiment on another soap that i did a while back so let's drop That soap was done a while back so looking at that soap also it looks like it hasn't cured so it's not up to see as you can see let me just uh, clean it up see the pinkish tin so these three soap haven't cured so I we must not use them okay for our home benefit this soap are not neutral yet we have to check them in a couple of weeks pass i should give them two more weeks so if you have made soap and you want to check just make sure you drop phenolphthalein on it if it comes out clear and remains clear then the soap is ready for use but if it drops it turns dark pink or full shed and your soap is not ready for you so you have to try that another time um even though you can see the soap is a bit you know I know the soap remains at least this one especially will take another maybe two weeks this may be one more week and this one may be another uh, eight days so I'm going to try them so just make sure you know that another way to know is that at least a typical soap kills between four to six weeks so make sure when you finish making your soap you need to note down the date okay of production and count the exact two of 
one month or six weeks from that date you know for sure at that time you can sell your soap to the public or you can use it so another point is make sure you record the date you make the soap and note the day it will kill so that you know you note it down put it label it on your soap so as to know or make sure you put it in where you are drying the soap so as to know it's very important you know the danger of using soap that are not neutral okay is that it can affect the skin it can destroy the skin you do not want to destroy your skin or destroy someone else's skin so make sure your soap are good to go before you sell them to the public or before you use them so either you record them and record the cure uh, the to be cure day make sure you put it on on any uh, place you are drying your soap okay or you can use phenophthalene okay to even though the soap might you might assume the soap might have cured and when you use phenophthalene on the, on the cure date and it still remains pink you must leave it at least for another two weeks that is the rule of thumb so i hope this video has helped you out on this channel i give you tips and ideas on how to you know have a good uh, skincare product also i make a uh, uh, lotion making um soap making video not on this channel yet but on my other channel skincare coin tv i do make soap uh, videos so so i will still introduce it on this channel but i hope this video has helped you out as soap maker keep in mind a neutral soap is the safe soap for the skin when your soap is not neutral, it's either too acidic or too alkaline. It's not the best for your skin type, for whole skin type. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos.